NISPRI is a prior title under the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. The institute has its headquarters in Ilori. It has our stations in Lagos, Ibadan, Kano, Sapele, Barakot, and Meduguri. Has the national mandate to research and extend technologies in food storage and preservation of fish inclusive. The importance of fish in the developing world cannot be overemphasized, as it is a source of food and income to many people. In Nigeria, fish production has been increasing as a result of expansion in freshwater aquaculture activities brought about by various developmental programs of the government to make animal protein available. Fish is highly perishable and needs proper handling and preservation if the shelf life is to be extended and the desired quality and nutritional values retained. The best method for preservation of fresh fish is to keep it alive until it is ready for consumption. These can be achieved by placing the fish in a container with clean water of lower temperature and starve the fish to reduce their metabolic activities. Dead, damaged, and sick fish are usually removed from these lots. Another way of fish preservation is to store the fresh fish at low temperature in ice or process it. Nigerian Stored Products Research Institute has developed simple and effective packages for handling, transportation, processing, and marketing of fresh and dried fish. Freshly harvested fish at a store or harvested place should be sorted and graded. They should be washed. The Nigerian Store Product Research Institute, NISPRI, has developed ice fish bags that can be used to preserve fish without deterioration. This box is insulated and has holes to drain the melted ice in storage. The fish is chilled by distributing ice uniformly around the fish. The ice to fish ratio is a function of the length of the fish to be preserved. Lower ratio of ice to fish will give a short shelf life, while higher ratio will give higher shelf life. The ice fish box developed by Nispri can be used for storage, transportation, and marketing. The Assistant Chief Laboratory Technologist, Andrews Adeza, explains step-by-step -step of fish handling, processing, and packaging in this documentary. My name is Andrews Adeza, Assistant Chief Technologist in charge of fish processing. When fish is harvested, then it is collected in the bowl and then it is washed and packed into the fish box with eyes where it will be transported to the processing center or transported to where it will be finally consumed. It is better this way because the fish is highly perishable. And if it is not transported in the box like this, we will suffer a lot of damages and wastage on the fish. With this fish box, it can be transported anywhere in the country because the environment is chilled and the environment is fresh. Without this fish box, any other way you transport this fish will cause damage and there will be a lot of wastage. So, the fish already packed in the fish box is ready for transportation. So. and the fish box is being loaded into this vehicle and it will be taken to the processing center. So 
So with this, it can be transported anywhere in the country and it will not be damaged and there will be no wastage for the fish farmer. Nispray actually has done this in order to aid the free movement of fish from any place in this country, from Lagos to Port Harcourt and even to the north. And as it is so, when it gets to the processing center, it will still be as fresh and as, as it is before it was transported. These are the process for fish smoking. It is ideal to use only freshly caught fish that have been kept clean and cold. Fish that have been handled carelessly or stored under improper conditions will not produce a satisfactory finished product. Do not use bruised, broken, or otherwise damaged fish for smoking. When preparing fish for smoking, it is important to keep the preparation area clean under good sanitary condition. The work area must be kept neat Cutting birds, knives, and hands must also be kept clean. You must wear a hand glove. This will help prevent spoilage agents like bacteria. The fish has arrived its final destination in a processing center, and so it goes through sorting. It is sorted in order to remove damage or dead fish as it travels down. So after sorting, then the processing can start. The damaged fish can be the one that has been bruised, or the one that have gotten sharp cuts, or the one that is already dead as a result of uh, handling during harvest and you can see them lying there dead fish then the good one is brought out also in order to continue the processing when smoking the fish the following preparation steps must be applied to any fish Scrape scale of the fish with a dull edge of a knife. Remove fins, tail, viscera, and head. Of course, that is optional. Cut large fish into uniform pieces about one and a half inches thick. Small fishes can be brined and smoked in one piece, or they can be folded. She goes to remove the scales, or to, to, to cut, and, and bring out the guts and uh, all other things inside before the salting. Yes. So that this process is a bleeding process whereby the guts is removed. And after the bleeding, then the cutting of the fins is carried out. Cutting of the fins is carried out. Some fish are very big. Um, it can be cut into uniform pieces. And some that are not big can be left. So for this one, is going to be cut into uniform sizes.
which are not too big may not need being cut into uniform sizes. The conventional way which the market or the market uh, women handles it is to curve it and hold it with a stick in a round form. Because this one is small, so it doesn't need to go through uniform cuts. So you, you try to bend it and uh, Wash body cavity with running water to remove all traces of blood and kidney tissue, dark red mass along the backbone. Salting. The next step in the smoking process is salting of the fish. High level salt inhibits bacteria growth, extends shell life, and makes the product safe for consumption. Salting can be accompanied using either a strong salt solution, brine, about 80% saturated brine solution, or dry salt. For most recipes, Brining gives a more uniform salting and is easier to prepare and use. Dry salting requires considerable experience before consistent results are obtained. Brine can be prepared by dissolving salt in fresh water. After keeping fish in brine for a long period of time, that is one hour or longer, the fish should be freshened by soaking in fresh water to remove the excess brine. This usually takes 30 to 60 minutes for most products. For highly salted products, brining is less than one hour. A fresh water rinse is sufficient to remove excess brine. Smoking. The fish can be smoke dried in smoking clime developed by Nispri. The drying trays can be rubbed with granite oil so that the skins of the fish do not stick on the trays. The drying tray needs to be rubbed with um, oil, preferably vegetable oil, cooking oil. This will prevent the fish, the skin of the fish, from sticking on the drying tray after drying. So with this rubbing of the dry tray, the contact between the fish and the tray will be there, but the skin of the fish will not stick to the drying tray. And it will aid quick and easy removal of the fish.